Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening, gentlemen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, one quick announcement. Well, one big quick announcement. Uh, are you in the group? Uh, uh, Austin said you're on one more right now. Are you in the group me? Yes, sir, I am. Okay, okay, good, good. So what we're going to do with going forward is, and that's for everybody, we're going to start putting all communication uh, in the group meet. Just You already know, just like at church activities. So we get one central location that will provide updates, any changes, what's going on, how it's going. It's just much easier to communicate in one central location than to have all these separate emails going out. That way everybody gets the same message at the same time. Um, if you got any questions, you can drop it in the in the group me chat. So it's just it's just gonna make it easier for everything going forward. So uh as long as you stay there, we're good to go. Uh because we're gonna be we're gonna be doing something, we're gonna be shifting. I know <clears throat> everybody on the call wants to participate, and that's a blessing. So we just gonna we're gonna be moving, man, trying to do things in the community. Um whether it's feeding the homeless, whether it's you know, a gas drive or supporting somebody else doing some things or supporting a principal at a school. We just want to make sure that we we doing something in the community. And, and at the end of the day, just doing what God has put us here to do. And that's to hear the word, but be doers of the word. And y'all hear me say that often. So that's the uh, big thing there, just making sure that we're doing God's will, but not only hearing, but uh, putting what we hear into practice and uh, doing some things. So um, that's it, man. Just uh, keep your ears to the grind, everybody, and uh, we go go ahead and get started and then open up in prayer. Have I missed anything, Pete? Before we open up, you on mute? No, sir. We good to go. All right, all right. Yes, sir. So, Heavenly Fathers, we come before you, Lord God. I just ask that you wash me thoroughly with your blood, Father. Forgive me of any sin, Father, known and unknown. Anything that will hinder this prayer, Father, and hinder anything, Lord God, I just um, <clears throat> ask that you wash me with your blood, Father. Father, we are grateful for this day, Father. Thank you for another opportunity to get together, Father, to fellowship, Father, to share your word, Father. As we endeavor to share your word, Father, we ask that you would bring your word alive, Lord God. Bring your word to life, Father, in, in, in this meeting, in this setting, Father, so we may grow, Father. Continue to grow, Father. Continue to bear full fruit, Lord God. We we are so thankful. We are so grateful, Father, for just keeping us, Lord God, and then giving us just a, another opportunity, Father, just to come before you, Lord God. We ask that you will cover us, Father, cover this meeting, Father. We pray, Father, that what it is that you want to say, Father, that you will have the freedom, Father, and the liberty, Father. We invite you in to do what it is that you want to do. We give you the glory, the praise, and honor for it. It's in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me see, Mr. Mike. What I said there? Mm -hmm. You said um, purpose. Let me go to, let me go to it real quick. Uh, here you go. Uh, created with a purpose. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I was, I was, up, I was going to lunch, and I was, I was thinking about that. You know, of course, I prayed. You know, about I was going to pick up my lunch, and 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 I was just thinking, um, just some surface things, right? And God was introducing me into, to something. I remember when I had my shop, um, I had hired two barbers. The first barber I had had a a Lexus. One of those bubble Lexuses. I was like, mm -hmm. man, that thing's nice, man. He has some nice wheels on it. Um, and I seen him. I seen him recently, which is, which is funny. But and then I had um, had the opportunity to hire another barber, and he had a uh, a Cadillac, um, a newer style Cadillac. And I was like, man. At that time, I think I was probably driving a Kia, my wife's Kia. My wife had a newer car. I had a Kia, and it was messing up and all that stuff like that. But I wasn't. I wasn't. Um, discouraged but i was just like man that's a, that's a nice car and uh i was riding today and god was you know just reminding me of what i drive right and it, and it's like man you know from there to name and um i remember uh when we was younger i used to work at taco bell and uh one of the guys used to drive an impala 
And that's the first car God allowed. He blessed me with and I was driving it. And, and it had came to my mind at that time. I was like, it's the same kind of car I seen. And what he was, what he was, what he was basically telling me, and it's so many different examples. I got off a little bit earlier that they was able to walk so many different examples. That's just material things, but so many different examples. I remember my son was being born and born the complications there. I remember my daughter and the things that the doctor had said about her. And um basically the word that came up was the process and um it took me to you know it's mount gilead on here not unless somebody else joined you know bishop robinson's favorite scripture is jeremiah 29 and 11 one of the one of the one of the scriptures that he always he always goes to and, and and i was led there but i took my time when i when i when i read it it said for i know the thoughts that i think towards you saith the lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. And then um, I was just reminded of, 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 of just the process, because that's what that was from, from, from that point when we had to shop, me seeing those guys' car, me working at this particular job, and God blessing me with different things. One thing comes to mind, one word was process. So I was sitting down a little while ago, and uh, I just Googled the word process, Pro, the word process, when it comes up in a dictionary, it says a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. So I look back at Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. So if I say if I if I look at process, process says. A series of actions or steps taken in order to give, in order to achieve a particular thing. So it's not the end. But God says, my plan, my thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace mm -hmm. and not people to give you expected end. So it's my mind just was and my spirit just was just was dealing with the process. When I look at my life and I look at where I've been, and I look at uh, where I am now, I look at the process. I look at everything that God has done. And it's like you were here, now you're here, now you're here. And what that what that does, like when I was walking today, it just it puts me in a mind where, or puts me in a place where because of who I serve, I can just I can relax. I can say, God, you got it. And 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 knowing that because there's a track record. And then there's things that he 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 allowed me to see and allow me to accomplish with his help. It's like boom, you see that there, you see that there, you see that there. It was all a part of the process. It was all a part of what I sent out earlier. His plan, that's God's plan. And it's like wow, you know. And and just to see that, I mean, I remember um, I was talking to you about this yesterday, Mike, when the man of God laid hands on me, he said, um, trust the process. Like, what is the process? What does that mean? So looking at this, right, it's the expected end. This is the this is the plan that God has. This is that good plan that God has that's being unraveled in my life. And I can see it from this from this vantage point, And I have to trust him. For this man, for to I have to trust him that he's going to do what he says he's going to do. That this is going to be a uh, 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 prosperous. What I've seen so far is like if this is any indication what this is going to look like. God said, okay, just keep dreaming. Like I said, and I'm gonna go back to that. You know, when I was working at the job, you know, I didn't have a vehicle, and this guy had a nice Impala, man. I mean, he had it souped up and just different things like that, and. and I was like, man, that car was nice, man. I might have had a Cadillac that I bought from my home or something like that. It, it, I mean, it was a vehicle, right? But um, it wasn't that. And I just like, man, that's a, that's a nice car. And years went on, just years went on, and it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was in my spirit, man. And this guy, you know, I ended up buying his car. You know, just just fast forward the story, ended up buying his car, and I was driving, and it hit me. I was like, man, this is the same car or the same model type car. And then the day when I got in my car to go to lunch today, like, man, I remember standing outside of that shop, standing outside. Those guys may have been in there cutting it, just looking at their cars. And I'm like, man, I, I saw my car. I looked at their car. And I looked at the other one car. I'm like, man, these are some nice cars, man. You know, but, you know, I wasn't like, I just like, okay, you know, they're just nice cars. And, and to be reminded of it, like, God, like this, 
stick with the process. Stick with the plans that I have for you. Stick with those plans. Stick with the process because it's going to get better. It's going to keep getting better. It's going to keep getting better. It's going to keep getting better. And as I possibly said, it's going to keep getting gooder and gooder. And it's like, man, just, I mean, I'm excited. I mean, like I said, when I was walking, it just was a freedom. Like, I can really, I mean, we say it, but you go to levels. Like, I can really trust God that he got this, man. And, and I don't have to, I don't have to worry about anything. And I, I can just be at peace with him. I'm going to open it up with that. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That's good. Check process. When you when you, when you read the definition of process, uh, then we went to plans. And as we stated earlier, understanding uh, you were created for a purpose, I think, was the title you wanted to use. And uh, my mind went to blueprint, mm -hmm. uh, purpose, process, plans, blueprints. They all lay down. They all function the same way, but when you see a blueprint, you see the process. When you see a blueprint, you see the purpose. You understand the angles and why it's cut this way, and why it's done, why it's doing this, and why it's doing that. Trusting that blueprint is 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 Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. Trust in God, his plans, his blueprint that he already laid out before you was born. Uh, I'm, since I use, since we say a blueprint, I'm going to use a house. Let's say you're building a house. You, you see the blueprint. You, you have a copy of the blueprint. And you go by the house every day. You can look at that blueprint and say, ah, okay, it, it's coming up. But you got to, as P said, trust the process. Because if you don't, un you can see the blueprint, but if you don't have that engineering architect background and, and the builder's mindset or experience is the word I want to say, not my, my mindset, but experience, you can see the blueprint, you can see what they're doing, but you got to trust the process because that project manager may have to, okay, we couldn't do that. Why? Because we didn't expect the ground to be like this or it has a deeper slope than we thought. So they may have to add more dirt or take this away, and they'll talk to you. But where I'm going is when you drive by, you got to trust the process. When, when you're watching your, your home get built, you got to trust the process. Why I'm using a home, God designed you before you were born. You got to trust his process. You got to trust his plan. You got to trust that his blueprint has, has all the 90 degree angles, has everything in your life that you need. You can't deviate from that blueprint. One deviation from that blueprint, hallelujah, destroys the foundation. It destroys the foundation. And I, I man, I, I wrote something down because it hit me so hard and it says this, you must first understand your purpose before you can flow in God's plan and assignment or God's plan and purpose, however you want to do Because until you understand the purpose, it's hard for you to flow in that sign. You got to understand your purpose. You got to understand that you were, as P titled it, created with a purpose. Because it, I'm pretty sure we all been in place like that. You, you've been on the job, on the basketball team, or you've just been somewhere and you're going every day and you're like, man, why am I coming? Hey, what's the purpose for this? I can't understand the purpose. You know why we get frustrated like it? Because we don't do the assignment. Because the purpose hasn't been identified clearly to us to understand why I am why am I here sitting in this meeting? What's my purpose? And as long as we stay there, we continue to get frustrated. And eventually, if we don't get to understand that purpose or it's not laid out to us clearly, we're going to stop trusting it and we're going to walk away. Because we don't understand our sign. And that's the whole purpose of... Uh, of Jeremiah 29, 11. And I like, and I'm going to just read a different version piece, if you don't mind. Uh, no. I like the, NI, the, the, the NLT. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not disaster to mm -hmm. give you hope, to give you a future and hope. And that, for I know the plans for you. 
for I know the purpose for you, for I know your for I know the blueprint for you. Everything that you need, he knows it for you, but you gotta trust. What he's saying in, in, in 29, trust me. Trust me. I know you're gonna have some 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 hills and valleys. I I know you're gonna have some storms. Um, I know you're gonna have some things that's going on. I know it's not always gonna be peaches and cream. So understand. So understand that. Understand that. And we're gonna get through. And I'm gonna end with that. What you got? Uh, the NLT. So you said. Uh, yes. Yes. <clears throat> yes. Okay. You, you, yours has plans. Uh, one has thoughts. One has plans, but. Uh, it was already geared up like <clears throat> this way. So, like you said, for I know the plans I have for you, hey, Sarah. For, yeah. Hey, Pete, I'm going to step away for about five minutes. I'll be right back. That's fine. Uh, <clears throat> your your translation, for I know the plans I have for you, says, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. I want to look at Proverbs um 16 and 9 proverbs 16 and 9 says in the hearts okay let me let me find i seen that let me look at this version i'm gonna look at the king james version a man's heart devises his ways but the lord directs his path let's look at the king james new king james version because it has the word plans a man's heart plans his ways but the lord directs his steps we can come up with our own plans what we think and it can be disastrous, right? If we're not trusting God daily, if we're not seeking him and seeking his plans daily, um, it, it could be that. And and I, I started I started this call off with um I can in my life I can see the things that God did, and I can see the things that God allowed. The things God did were almost effortless. The things that God had his hand on, I didn't have to keep redoing. The things that I did, I had to push a little bit more and 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 strain a little bit more and 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 just try to um I put I put a lot lot more effort in it and and I just opened my life up like when when I when I took the role I'm currently in, I um I was um trusting God for another, another role. And, and in my spirit, I believe that, you know, I was like, okay, some, something's up. And I was putting in different applications here and there and here and there. Anybody put in applications, you know, you, you, you apply for this and apply for that. And you, you're trying to hear God, but you're really not trying to hear God. You're trying to do your own thing. It, it can wear on you. And then you keep seeing this mountain in front of you because I'm trying to get to the top of it to to better myself and better my family and the what I'm trying to do is not bad but the way I'm going about it I'm not including God I'm doing my own thing so uh when this particular role opened up I was I was already at the company that I was in and I was like okay there's no there's no positions open here so let me go ahead and let me leave. I'm just going to leave this. I'm just going to leave this particular company. I'm going to leave this. I'm going to leave this role because there's nothing open here. So at that time, um, you know, I'm doing doing my regular job and just doing doing what I doing what I normally do. But I would always pray to God. I remember being at a stop and I looked down at my phone and a position had opened up within the company. But I knew the people who had already had the position. So it's kind of like, OK, I don't somebody must be losing their job. I was like, man, somebody's losing their job. And the man of God had been preaching that God would, um, well, I had heard him say it before that God would make a position for you. So I was like, okay, man, um, you know, I seen the position. It wasn't something I wanted, right? It was according to my plans. I, I didn't want to go in, in into sales. I'm like, man, look, I don't want to go into sales. I'd rather go into this operations position and do dust and so, and that's just going to be it. But when this, when, when, it put, when this position came up, I looked at it. I said, man, somebody must be losing their job, man, because they're going to be taking somebody out of a position or something, you know. So close it up and continue to go on about my going about my way, get back to the branch. And, you know, some things began to happen and, and God was beginning to do do some things because um, this was his will and this was a part of his plan. I guess I was able to step back enough and just his grace of mercy on me, whatever one it was. It was just all him where things began to move in the direction that he wanted me to move in. 
and I was sitting at the computer and the, the, the manager for the position um, was talking to another manager and they were walking past, but they wanted me to hear them. They said, hey, has everybody, we're about to close this up. Has everybody applied for the position? And they said, yes, everybody has applied except Pierce. And I'm like, except Pierce. I'm like, I'll, I'm trying to find some outside of the company, man. I'm trying to go over here and trying to do this and just trying to better myself and, and, and different things like that for my family. But um, I thank God I was able to get in line with him. And this is what I'm saying when I, when I, if there's some things that I've done on my own and there's some things that I've done why I just trusted God and the things where when you trust God, it just, it's, it's easier. And it's, it just keeps producing fruit. It just continues to keep being something that you can keep eating off of. But when I, when I've done things by myself, like I said, I'm just opening my life up. Right. So, um, with my business, with, with, with the, with the, um, salon, it was something that I wanted to do. I believe God allowed me to do it to show me what was really in me. And I went out and opened this business and we were able to get the loans and everything. I used the gift, you know, I was able to write the business plan out, have it down to a science, you know, get the different people to come in and, and just different things like that. But what I had released was, my quiet time, my time that I was spending with God, I had released that. And what I was going after was the same thing I was going after the first time, which was the finances. I need to be able to take care of my family. I'm trying to set this money up for 401k. I'm trying, I mean, not 401k, just to save money. I'm trying to do all these different things that seem good on the outside, but not trusting God's plan. Right. So the business, you know, I'm, I'm hiring people. I'm at work trying to hire people. I got to trust people. I, 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 I barely know to um, trust their opinion to hire people. And they just was just doing just different things, you know, but I had subjected myself to that. And and during those times, you, you know, my family life suffered and it suffered a great deal. And it's something that um, I thank God that he he has allowed us to recover from, but that was that was a blow. That was a blow that we we took financially. That was a blow that we took on our marriage. That was a blow that I took, um, or that we took, you know, as far as uh, uh, raising children. It, it it just was a blow. But I thank God for His grace and allowing us to to come back. But what I'm talking about is God's plan. There's some things that I was able to do that in my flesh and in my own strength. And I got the credit to do this. I got the finances to do it. And I was able to go over there and do these particular things, but it wasn't God's will. And then I can turn and I can see things where God had his hand on there and he was just leading and guiding me through the patient, through just being patient and just trusting him over there. Like it says in Jeremiah, just trusting him and, 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 and allowing him to move. And that trust is like, God, it's in your time because if you do it, this is connected to this and this is connected to this. And I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking about the scripture there and say, for I know the plans and it's not just mm -hmm. it's not singular, it's plural because this is going to lead and that's going to lead to that. And that's going to lead to that. It's so much that you can't see, but mm -hmm. when we move on our own plans. All I can see is what's in front of me. Mm -hmm. All I can see, I can see all I need, all I know. And, and, and that's, and that's very, uh, dangerous because all I can see is me getting that. And that can be, um, I, I had one of my partners put something out, him and his wife were doing something on, on, on uh, Instagram and, and it had something where it was uh, like a donkey and something in front of him. That's all you're doing is chasing what's in front of you, whether, whether it be an apple or whatever. And, and that keeps the donkey moving, you know, they put it in front of it and that just keeps it going. You, you're never going to get those things. And I, I believe, you know, that's like that's like uh, trying to achieve, uh, uh, obtain things without God. It's always going to be on that string. And what that string does is pulls us further and further away from God's plan because God, God's plan brings to fruition God's will on earth. But as long mm -hmm. as we're here, all I can see is this plan. All I need to is, is just all I need to do is get this. And once I get that, that's going to be, it's, it's, it's never just that. And I believe that's why the scripture says the plans It's many roads. And I've, I've been able to see it when I operate inside of God's will. It's just like this. It keeps going and keeps going. Mm -hmm. It keeps when he, when he shuts a door, that means there's another door over there that, that, that is better. Something mm -hmm. that's going to produce and continue to keep producing and continue to keep producing and continue to keep producing. And I've seen this in my life. Like I was saying, like I, I've, I've seen it in both ways. I've seen, um, like it says over in Proverbs 16, 
Uh, I'm going to go to New Living Translation. We can make our own plans, but the Lord determines our steps. So I can sit down and write, this is what I want to do. This is how much I want to make. This is who I want to move to. This is, this, is, this is my goal for my business and different things like that. But at the end of the day, God's going to order my steps. If I take all that and I'm willing to say, you know what, God, whatever it is that you want to do. And that's how we have to live. But that's what I'm learning. That's how I have to live. Lord, is whatever you want to do. And it's easier said than done because it's a lot of it's a lot of me still there. Not as much as it used to be, but it's like, God, I want I I, I can see this right here. I see what you're doing, but yours going to take a little bit longer. So let me jump over here. You, and, you know, not knowing that if you jump over here, you have to jump right here. If you have to jump right here, you have to jump. If you wait for the light to turn green. It's just going to be a straight shot. Or you can go through this back way. You, they're going to they're gonna take the speed limit down to 15. Then it's going to go to 30. Then it's going to go to 55. Then back to 15. You go right here. You can go 70 all the way down to where it is that you need to go. No roadblocks. No no speed checks or nothing. Just just straight for six or seven miles right here. It's going to take you 20, 30. It's like New York traffic, you know, I hear. So um, I'll, I'll back off with that. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I, I apologize. I had to step away for a second. No, um, man. No. I didn't uh, catch everything you said, but I know by the spirit that you, you were just throwing with the plans and, and to, and this is just something the Holy Spirit dropped on me, even to understand the purpose and, and plans and the flow with it. It just, uh, your mindset, your thinking affects how you follow assignments, how you flow with God's plan. Uh, why I say that is uh, in Proverbs 27, I'm sorry, 23 and 7 says, and for as he thinks in his heart, so is he. What are you thinking? I, I can give you the best plans, the best blueprint. I can, I can do everything. God can give you everything you need. What are you thinking? What, what, if you're not thinking it's going to prosper, it's going to be successful. It's not going to work. It, it's 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 what you're thinking. What are you feeding on all the time? Better yet, what's feeding you? You know, God dropping it on you. He's giving you, hey, here's the plans. Here's the plans. Here's the blueprint. Here's the direction. Ah, uh, I don't know. Thinking is weak. Thinking is, uh, is is in a different mindset of lack or, or just people around you not thinking the same thing. Because if you keep hearing that, you're going to start believing their plan more than you believe God's plan. If you keep telling yourself you can't, you're going to start believing your flesh plans more than God's plans. The mindset, the mindset, the mindset. It also now just taking me to Romans 12 and 2. Uh, and and kind of flows with the plans, but it's plans work when your mind is on God. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Your mind. Because we, on this, unless, you know, something I can speak for myself. You, 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 what you see on a daily basis, what your mind is going to be gravitating to. If you're around negativity, lack, this and that, uh, all the stuff that portrays you can't, you can't even visualize. And I think P. said prior to me leaving, and he said the word dreaming, you know, I'm dreaming. Uh, if you're around certain things that, and and we all heard the bishops, man, it just doesn't even allow you to dream. It doesn't even allow you to get close to God because you, you're around so much negativity. You're so, around so much lack. You're, so, uh, uh, you're not around winners. Uh, and I think we said it a couple of meetings ago when, when I think uh, about two calls ago, three calls ago, when the Lord gave me, why are you practicing? Why are you practicing with people that don't believe y'all can win? You're wasting your time. The same with, with, with us. If you have to get your mind to understand the purpose and the plans and the blueprint so you can understand how it's 
this is going to be a winning formula. This is going to be a winning formula. Even though I hit a storm, I'm still going to be in a winning path. God has already knocked down these trees. But if every time you fall or every time you go through a little storm, you go back to quitting or what you used to, you'll never get to the plans. Plural with an S. You'll never get to what you are, the purpose God created you for. What's the old cliche? You'll take one step forward and six steps back. You'll never get to that 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 desired end that God has for you because you take two steps forward, take five steps back. You take four steps forward, you take eight steps back. You basically stay in that same little trail, and that's called being comfortable. I just want to be comfortable. But to be around God, you got to be uncomfortable sometimes. To reach greatness, you're going to have to be uncomfortable sometimes. And I'm going to in with that. Uh, I was going to go. Go, you go, sir. No, you can go ahead. Go ahead, man. It's on you, man. You know, I, you know, we can go, man. This is this is what I was so you, man. Take this. You can go, man. Yeah, I was, I was just talking about um, we were talking about the process and everything, and I was thinking, you know, they say that when you when you're not familiar with God's work, just His ways and like the ways that He do stuff, He do everything in step. And it's like you get the process, you get step one. You don't get all the steps like a recipe. You get all the steps at once. God, He give you step one. You got to come back for step two. Then you can get step two, come back for step three. Then you come back for step four. Then you, you got to keep coming back. And I, I, I think, you know, uh, the revelation is like, he wants you to keep depending on him because you get all the steps at once. I don't need God. I got to keep going back to God. And then also, too, is teach you how to, like, handle success. Um, That's one thing I learned, too, about was, like, it's kind of hard to do because if you go from step one to step ten, you, you got you, you're successful, you're good, and then you know that's when the flesh come in, pride come in. You know, we're successful, we got what we want. We don't gotta pray as much. We got all the steps right here. We good. We climb top of the ladder. We good. But I think when you do it by step by step, it like it teach you to kind of like stay humble along the way and also stay thankful. You remember I was at step one, now I'm at step two. Um, and then you get to step five, you say I ain't at step ten yet, but I ain't I ain't where I used to be though. I'm coming up, and it kind of teach you how to like handle success. So I think that's one of the biggest um the biggest kind of like uh, uh pitfalls I think is uh not just in but like like you know, I think as uh, as people as sometimes um you get successful that's when it really get hard because now it's like man I got everything I want I succeed I reach this goal this goal this goal that's when everything that's when the temptation really come more than when you at the bottom, you know, you ain't really got nothing. When you get to the top, you, you, get, you get where you want to be. It get a whole lot harder to, um, you know, that's when you really got to stay grounded and really, really get in there more. So I just, uh, I was like, that. Does she know what you do? What'd you say, P? Uh, that that was uh yeah was Austin, I, I think he faded out a little bit. Okay. All right. Can I say something? Mr. No. Carlos. Am I no. good? Oh. Right. Mr. Carlos, yes indeed. <laughs> How you doing, Mr. Mike? What's going I'm, on? I'm always happy to be here. I feel so great when I'm around here. Oh my gosh. I like that shirt, bro. <laughs> oh, thank you. You, Natisha says that is a prison shirt. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> she said you. She said you look like you're living prison. <laughs> so I just wear when she's not around. So she's not around. So I'll... there you go. Um, I was like enough to join when uh Mr. P was talking about process, like hey, steps that lead to an end, and uh, and uh. 
I feel like that, that was the tr the whole explanation. Everything was was super helpful, and I follow what Mister Mike said about steps, and what Mister Mr. Austin said also about steps, and Mister P went back to say, "Hey, uh, God will order my steps and things like that." And um, as you guys were talking, a few analogies start came to my mind. And I, it's about following the plan and about steps and things like that. Um, and the first one is like, you when you're like having a, a car trip and for somehow you miss your exit, you know for sure that by the next exit, you can go back to the highway and you'll be on your way, right? And then they have the analogy that I, I would say gets close, but it's not close to what is God's plan in our life. You know, when you're like on a plane trip, you cannot see. If it's a day, but yeah, you cannot see like real, real words in front of you, like where is your where is your destiny? You, you only see the clouds and everything. And yet the pilot stick to the plan and get to the destination. Do you know what happens if you live in LA to New York? And when the pilot leaves, you know what happens if that pilot decides, so, hey, I'm about to move 3.5 degrees. You know where that pilot will end? Washington, D.C. 3.5 degree takes a pilot, takes a plane that was going to New York to D.C. Just in this magnitude. Now, just think what will happen if you go 3.5 degree out of God's plan? What will happen to your life? That's good. That's good, Carlos. That's good. Like 3.5 takes New York to Washington, D.C. Now imagine in God's plan, you're going 3.5 degree out good. of God's plan. Mm. Like, I, I can explain. I can imagine that happening, you know? And then we say about steps like, hey, following plans a step by step is one step. Mr. Alton was really good. And say like, hey, you go one step today, you go get the second step, and you go get the third step. When he was saying that, I recall like, if the, the year has like 365 days, right? If we do one step every day, if you put like one, uh, I, I, I did the, if you do like 0 0.1 uh, and you power to 365 days, you will end up with a compound effect of 37.78. But if you go one step back every day and then you power that to 365, you will have great 0.0.03. Mm. You see the difference in doing good and doing bad? And yet, on, doing good is so hard, but the, the reward is so great. And yet, yeah. doing bad is so easy and the reward is so low. 0. 0. 0. 0.0.03 if you do bad one every day for 365. And if you do good every day, you end up with 37. Yet, it's hard, but the reward is so great. That's good, Carlos. So, and I was like, that is why following the plan and one step, at, one step after another, no matter how hard it is, but the result and the compound effect of the, and the blessings that comes from that is, that is great. Mm -hmm. Some people say, oh, I don't understand. But how are how, how we going to bless so, so great? Yes. He yes. was doing one good every day and the compound effect of his blessing is so great because it's 37.78 in our language. We don't know in God's language how it comes. So it's, it's great. And then we said about being surrounded by, by my mind and like being surrounded by the right people and everything. And um, I recall I was I was seeing a, I was seeing a, a TV show and one of the company they have like a very they have a, a very high performance. And one of the reasons is because they have a psychologist. They have they do tradings, but they have a psychologist in their office. And the reason why they have a psychologist in their office is because every time one of the, the guys is losing his mojo, they go to the psychologist. The reason why they go to the psychologist is to help them understand what they're missing. 
I feel like sometime in our life, we need to have that person, someone that we mm. can go and say, hey, what is missing? Yes. Someone that can hold us accountable and say, hey, how can I get back to what I was doing? And most of those, and most of those, and most of those those times will be either your pastor, either the person that you look up, and things like that. Because it is it is proven that you are the average of five of your closest friends. Mm. Now, if you if you walk with dogs, you'll be average of five dogs. <laughs> You will start mm. barking sooner or later. Yes, sir. Now, if you walk with five lions, you'll be average of those five lions. Mm -hmm. They say, like, if you put a lion and a dog raising together, at the end of the day, one one will end up adopting the behavior of the other. Either mm -hmm. the dog will act end up like behaving like a lion, or the lion will end up behaving like a dog. So no matter how strong you are, no matter what's your nature. What you spend your time the most, we end up stealing what you are. Yes, sir. So, and they say, hey, you are average of those five people. Yes. So what, what do you do now? Mm -hmm. uh, me? I have you guys. I have people that go to church. I have people don't go to church. I have people that don't talk about God. I have people that only talk about females. I have friends that only talk about business. I have friends. Yet, where do I spend the most of my time? I'm mm -hmm. not saying don't have them, but I'm just saying not, you gotta know where to spend your time and where to invest your time. Mm -hmm. It is okay to call them once in a while and say, hey man, I'm just calling to check on you. How you doing? How's family? You know? Jesus had 12 disciples and yet he spent time with a lot of people, mm -hmm. but he didn't make those a lot of people part of his inner crew. Even, even among the disciples, he had an inner crew. Those mm -hmm. who, used, who used to take when he was going to mission where he needs strength and extra strength. So who's your inner strength? Who are those people that you feed from? Mm -hmm. Who are those people that no matter how you do, you look at them and you know it's about to be okay. Mm -hmm. who are those people that when you're going to temptation you call them and they pull you up the same way you pull them up mm -hmm. but those people when when your body is shaking it comes and tells you hey don't worry I'm here mm -hmm. let's go through it so that that was my thoughts when it comes to process plans where we spend our time, the people that we have around us. And I would say have someone that will help you always find your mojo back. Yes, sir. And I'm not saying put that, that person above. I'm just saying that person has to be the way God sent things to you from time to time. You know, when I was going to when I was going to the process of a new my 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 work authorization, I didn't have all the news. I didn't have all the information that I needed. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Every every step, most of the step that I was getting and that most of the step that I was doing, my aunt was telling me. And guess what? I lean myself to my aunt every time I had a question, and every time my aunt had that question. Did my blessing come came from my aunt auntie? No, my blessing mm -hmm. came from God, and God used her and her knowledge to make sure that that did happen. So have someone that will help you identify your mojo, that will help you see the light, because God will use people in your life to show you the plan, to show His plan. So that's my my thoughts. Man, that was some good stuff, Carlos. Good stuff, man. Good, good stuff, Carlos. Man, I'm going to start calling you Matthew. You go with numbers. <laughs> uh, but uh, everything you said, Carlos, was powerful. I, I just want to piggyback on one, one second with that. 
you said something powerful, you know, your your the the numbers you use taking one step during 65 days and taking one step forward and taking one step back in the difference in the figures. And the powerful thing you said is going forward, yes, it's a little more difficult, but the reward going backwards is it, it's so comfortable. But we're willing to take that risk because it's comfortable. Going forward, yes, it's harder. But that's that's if you look at the general concept of people, they rather stay comfortable or take that step back than go forward. And the other process that you stated was the people you hang with. And and you can tell me who you are. But you know how I'm, the best way for me to find out who you are is not by you telling me. I want to talk to the people and I want to just observe the people you're hanging with. It goes back to your line and dog scenario, Carlos. Because you can tell me anything. But if I can see the people you hang around with, the, the, your two, three, four, five people that you consistently around and hear their conversation, that's who you are. Because if that's who you spend most of your time with, you can't be different. Like you said, <laughs> uh, 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 hyenas don't hang out with lions. Why? Because a hyena and a lion, they're two different animals. And number one, a lion sees a hyena, that's a meal. So for me to find out who you are, I just want to see who you're hanging Who you hanging around with? Let me hang around and listen and see what they're talking about. Now, eventually you're going to say, oh, that's not what I do or talk to. That's who you hang around with. That's who you are. You ain't that different because that's who you hang around with. And I wanted to, and I'm in, I'm, I'm in with this. And, and, and when you said it, Carlos, I'm going to go back to the man of God last night. He, he, power, he preached a powerful message. And, and, and I'm going to just read the one verse. But when you get a chance, go to 2 Kings 7. Just read, start at verse number three, but just read the rest of that. Uh, that scripture, but it, it goes back to some Carlos said about just who you're with, somebody giving you encouragement. And and verse number three is powerful. And the man of God, uh, 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 Bishop Robinson, said this last night, and it, man, it resonated so much power. Now, there were four leopards men at the entrance of the gate, and they said to one another, that's powerful, right? they said to one another, why are we sitting here until we die? That goes back to you, Carlos, that encouragement. They were in a group of four, but their voices resonated to each other to encourage each other. And, and everybody kind of knows the story to, to go into Syria, uh, to Syria because they was going to die because they didn't have the need. Everybody understand that concept. Leopards, back in the day, if you had leopards, they would separate you. Uh, but that powerful... Word was, and they say to one another, you got to surround yourself with people that understand, hallelujah, your purpose. You got to hang around with people that not just, I, I'm going to use the phrase, but not just living to die. You, 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 you're hanging around people that want to win, people that want to go forward, people that want to, to encourage you in your purpose. And at the same time, you encourage them in your purpose, not just through your words, but through your actions. What they see you do, what you see them do. Being around the right people encourages you and you encourage them. And the man of God said, and I know I said I was working but I got to give you one more thing. He said something powerful last night, too. And uh, I'm going to go back to it. I don't want to misquote him because it was powerful. I loved it. He said, the only, the only things that take root can grow. Only the things that take root can grow. And when he said that, my spirit added to it. What are you letting root in your life? So once again, the only thing that can grow is the things that's getting rooted, that, that the roots are going deep. 
we got to ask ourselves, what are we letting get rooted in our life that's going deep in us? And it goes back to the purpose, the plans, the blueprint that God has for you, but also the people that's around you. And I'm in with that. Mike, you, you was looking at, um, I think it's in Hebrews. You was looking at Hebrews 12, right? Tonight? Yeah. Or was it Romans? Romans. Oh, well, yeah. Ro Romans, Romans, Romans. Uh, train, you talking about transforming the mind. Yeah. Um, yeah. Romans 12, too. Go back there. All right. Give me a second. All right. Yeah. Romans, Romans 12, 2. I'm going yeah. back to Romans 12, too, or you want me to go somewhere else? Yeah. Go, go to 12, too. All right. Where is and it? A particular... No, uh, no. Um, if you would go start to start there, I, I want it's 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 to prove that which is good and perfect will of God. Mm -hmm. It should be if you in verse two, it may be like verse eight. All right, give me a second. Let me see verse eight. So liberation. No, that's not it. All right. You say perfect will. Yeah, it said that you may prove what is the perfect will of God. All right, give me a second. Give me a second. All right, give me a second. It's not verse 8, but give me a second. Okay. Why are you going there? I'm going to look at Proverbs 16 and 9 again. A man's heart plans his ways. But the Lord directs his steps. It's Proverbs 16 and 9. Mm -hmm. You in Hebrew, you already went. Oh, I get Hebrews and Romans mixed up. Yep. You're right. It was at it wasn't eight. It was just at the end of, I don't know what I was reading, but it's at the oh. end of uh Romans 2. Uh oh. Romans 12, 2, it says, and I'm reading in the King James, the okay. new uh King James. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Yeah. And I look at so what you just said, I look at Proverbs 16 and 9. Mm -hmm. So there is there is a will and there's a process that we can get in that's not his mm -hmm. and then his. And then when Jesus was telling the disciples to, he was teaching them how to pray. He said, you know, uh, you know, the, the Lord's prayer, but in the Lord's prayer say, uh, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You mm -hmm. know, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And then what you're talking about, it talks about what you were just talking about. Like you said, I haven't heard the whole message from Bishop Robinson. I heard a little bit, but it talks about, uh, when you were talking about the man, the mind, how you how you thinking, what, what? Because it's a lot that goes on in our mind, and 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 you try to and and and, and in Proverbs you're talking about those steps. We try to order out, we try to map out our own steps when we when we when we think we're smarter than God, when we don't trust God. But ultimately, what that's doing is that's 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 uh, deviating away from that perfect will of God. Mm -hmm. And like Miguel was saying, um, thank you, Lord. Like he was saying, it 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 makes the process harder, but it's not revealed like that until you get around people like yourself and Miguel. It's not revealed. You can't see it because you're it's 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 blinded and you're like everybody's and like you was everybody's up trying to make it and everybody's trying to do this and everybody's trying to do this and everybody's Everybody trying to find a job. Everybody, the, the mortgage rates up and all these different things. And, and that could be so on the outside. But if God is telling you to move, then, then he's already created a lane. So we just have to be careful that we in his perfect will, because everything God told me years ago when was, when we was about to close on, on, on our house. He said, anything I tell you to do is already done, which means 
way and you were talking about the trees being being moved every every way that he tells us to go has already been paved and like miguel was saying when you're on the plank you don't see that but god i heard i heard what you said i believe you and i'm gonna start going this way because i'm thinking now of the ram in the bush there's always something that you have accessible mm -hmm. but you want you want me to follow you even when i can't see what's what uh, he said he said it's just 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 uh, leave the place where you are, you know, mm. and, and you didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't have any instructions. So, you know, so, so much now in life, we, we can follow instructions and, and we got ways and we got uh, Google maps and all that, and that stuff helps sometimes, but sometimes when we go into the creator of everything, it's kind of like, I don't, I, we have to get to the point or I have to get to the point where God, I don't have to understand everything. And like you said, uh, a mic with the mind, you have to detox your mind where it's like, okay, who, it's almost like the respect and the reverence. You know, when I'm talking to my boys, I can I can use a little slang word, but when you're talking to somebody in authority, back in the day when I lived in my mom's house, it was my mom, yes ma'am, no ma'am. It's, it's almost like snapping into action. Whoa, I'm talking to God now. You know, I can, you, you out there talking that talk with your boys, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like this, man, it's like this when you get before God, yes sir. What What is it that you're saying? What is it that you want to do because you can make anything happen. And then what you're telling me is this is the good and perfect will. This is what you have already breathed on. This is what you have already ordained. This is what you have already provided provision for. So who am I to tell you what I see? You can see what I can't see. I'm telling you what I see. And that's what we was talking about the other day, Mike, when you had the scripture of the reports. There was different reports that came back, different reports. Oh, I, we see giants, but yeah, we see fruitfulness over there. So it's all in 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 this and understanding that God has a perfect will. Like you was over there uh, uh, in Romans, and then we 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 see God has that perfect and acceptable will. Then we see in Jeremiah, He's telling Jeremiah about this will. But then we see in Proverbs 16, the hearts of a man plans his ways, but the Lord establishes his, his steps. And then there's another scripture, I believe, is in Proverbs, the steps of a good man are ordered by, by God and he delights in his path. So God is always leading yeah. us. It's just a matter of if we're following him. And like Miguel said earlier, that's going to stick with me, Miguel, probably for the rest of my life. It's, 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 it's that all it road you know and sometimes we get used to it where it's gotta be like this and like you said like you hang around people that that's how they think it's gotta be like this man gotta be tough like this man you know we gotta we gotta we just how we gotta come in the job man we gotta do like this man they ain't gonna never hire nobody like you man or like this you can't move up and it like man you know i gotta detox my mind man let me let me let me step away let me get around some people that have seen some things, have achieved some things. So I can, I can just be around something different. I, I got to detox my mind because I can't hear this. This is not lining up with I'm, what I'm hearing. This is not lining up with what these brothers are telling me uh, on the call. This is not lining up with the man of God is preaching on Sundays. This is not lining up with what I see when I go to sleep. Those dreams that I have, these aspirations that I have, there's more that I want to do for my family. What I'm seeing right now doesn't line up. And instead of me, programming my mind to uh, uh come under this i want i want to i want to make sure i want to make sure i'm here right i want to make sure that there that 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 this is let let me just let me like like going to a doctor let me just get another opinion and that's what this is tonight jeremiah 29 11 it didn't say nothing about him struggling and and, and having a hard way to go it just talks about a process there's a process so you might not be able to see everything but there's a process. And if we have any, any traction with God or any type of relationship with God, you know, whether it's a year, two years, we can just sit. And when you detox in your mind, you can look and say, God, you know what? I remember starting right there. And I remember going right there. I remember that was going on. And I remember you blessed me. And I remember you said you never leave me, nor forsake me. And I remember this. And I remember this. But praise God, I see where I am right now. And if that's any indication of anything, we can keep going. We can keep trudging on. And like you were saying, Miguel, I'm thinking about um, a, a message that the, that the man of God preached uh, 
um, in, the, in the scripture, right? Where, where he says, David encourage yourself. Sometimes it's like that within us. Like, man, look, I got to just, if you don't have somebody, I got to steal away and let me get in the word, man. What does the word say? Is, is this true? What these people are telling me? Is this true that I got to struggle like this? Is, is this true that that I just got, I can't do anything about this situation? And nine times out of 10, when you get in the word, you'll find that it's not true. But we just have to, like you were saying, Miguel, keep taking those steps, those diligent steps to go forward and go forward and go forward. The Bible talks about a wide gate that leads to destruction. There's a lot of people on it and there's a narrow and it says few, few that be there that follow you or, or find it or follow it. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember, but there it's, it's, it's that narrow gate that you got to go through. You know, it's, it's the tedious thing sometimes that you have to do. It's the, it's the, it's the consistency, the consistency in what you have to, to, to walk with, to be able to get to this place and then continue to stay in that place because it's not only for us, but we're training people and showing people that there is another way behind us. All it takes is really one person to break loose. And those people that you've been sitting at the picnic table with become liars. We never seen anybody do this. Well, he did. Oh, so that means it's just on you guys. We ain't never seen nobody. And that's what we are, man. You know, that's what we are. We hear, we hear a, a, a strong level of word. And that's what we are. When we look at our lives, we look at our brothers and sisters, we look at our families. You're like, yo, they said, nobody will ever be able to buy a house. Well, what you call him, did it? Oh, well, that's that's because then, man, now you're trying to figure something else out. And you're trying to put something else on it. Now, if one got out, the rest of us are, can, can can get out, and the rest of us can can have a, 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 a mental stability, and the rest of us can uh, uh, receive healing in our body. Because these are the things that the words say. All it takes is for one person to believe and to go for it. And once they go for it, God hand me on them because that's His will, and they break forth. It's like man. You can't you you can't unsee what you see. You can't put that back in the box. And I'm just excited, man. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna back up because we had 802. Yeah, I like all that everything everybody's saying tonight, man. Pop, uh, I like that last analogy. Uh, man, purchase that. Well, when you talk about purchasing a house and well, so and so purchase. Oh, oh, they start backing up. Oh man, as our man of God said, you can't dispute evidence. That's it, man. When I give you some evidence that it can be done, they're going to start backtracking. Uh, 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 and they're going to start saying, well, it's because, you know, it's this and that. And it's because yeah. of this and that. They will try to find external reasons that it happened. But at the same time, God made it happen. Just follow the blueprint, man. Follow the blueprint. So, the a lot of things we take from this is number one, for me is know that you created for a purpose. Understand that God has plans for you, not plans to hurt you, but plans to prosper you for an expected end, filled with 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 prosperity, filled with healing, filled with health, filled with everything you need and understand that everybody around you is not meant to go with you. And I'm going to use uh, 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 a example about the lion and the dog. One of them will start acting like the other if you leave them together long enough. And, and, and I think I did this a long time ago, if you remember, and Lion King is one of my favorite movies. And, and, and when Simba looked at the water and he was hanging with other animals so long, he forgot that he was a lion, a king. And when he looked at the water, he saw his father's face. Because you started, he started hanging around with other animals that were not lions. So he had lost that that. I'm going to use this analogy. He had lost that he was a king, king of the jungle. His father had to remind him. Mustafa had to remind him when he looked in the water who he was. What I'm saying, that for hanging with the wrong people or hanging with the wrong fruits, if you want, whatever your analogy you want to use. Not saying you're better than them. Not saying stop loving them. 
But if you hang around with apples long enough and you're orange, you'll convince yourself you're an apple. And, and, and as P said, you start hanging with them long enough and all they saying is, man, we can't, uh, that's not for us. Uh, we she, Nobody bought a home, but everything is negative or not encouraging. You hang around there long enough, you really going to start believing. I know we think we strong enough. Oh, I, I hear them say that, but I ain't paying no attention. You don't have to pay attention, but your spirit is. Your spirit is like, man, I hear this stuff all day long. What God were saying, faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing the, the word of God. What he's saying, if you keep hearing the same thing over and over, I don't care what you say. That's what you want to start thinking. That's what you want to start believing. That's what you want to start believing. And I know it's uh it's eight oh six. The man of God last message was so powerful last night. I almost forgot about the Goliath. Uh, David and, and Goliath when 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 Goliath was out, and I'm gonna just paraphrase. Uh, when Goliath was forty days and forty nights. He basically was bullying the Israelite. Come on and fight me. All these words. But what the man of God said that was so powerful. He said, for 40 days and 40 nights, he was out there yelling whatever words and obscene and in between. So that's 80 times. But the man of God said, it's not what he was saying. I guarantee you it's what. The Israelites were saying when Goliath wasn't speaking. I said, oh, that's good. So when nobody's speaking, what you saying? What you saying to yourself? Are you saying you're going to make it? Are you saying those things that you need to hear? Because if you keep hearing the negative things, you will keep, eventually you will start repeating them things to yourself. And I'm in with that. Great call, great call. I love this call. This call a great call. A needy call. I'm a, uh, if you ain't got hey, nothing to see. Go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead. I want to just say um, what I take from this as well, um, what everyone else might be taking. Um, I just don't want to lose my purpose. Yes, sir. You know, I want to just stay humble to my purpose. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, because we're all here for a reason. Yeah. Absolutely. As long as we keep the faith in that, um, it's going to be hard times. We'll suffer. We'll go through those more than the good times. And the mm -hmm. hard times are lean on us harder. So just, you know, stick to the protocol and stick with your purpose. Yes, sir. That's thank good. You. Yeah. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for chiming in. That's good right there. Yes, sir. I tell you, and I, I have here Lord's phone, Lord's iPhone. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Thank you again, sir. Yes, sir. All right, P. Any any closing closing comments or anything from yourself or anybody else on the line before we we, we run around the table and uh, make sure everybody's good. We just want to check on you. Um, no, just, um, uh, I would do, uh, real quick, do the, um, uh, I, if I sent you a link, it was a little bit different to just a regular link. Um, I'm not going to be sending out the links on Thursdays anymore. Mike said at the beginning of the call, um, a lot of people wasn't on at that time and we just going to more, um, more, you know, of a excellent, um, type of format, right? We're going to try to start on time and get out of here at eight 30. But as far as Thursdays, I won't be sending out the link. Um, all the information that we share is going to be on group me. Uh, not unless you just jump on on Thursdays and hear the announcements that Mike gives or myself. Um, so those will those will begin at seven. There's a lot of things that we're going to be doing. Like we we went from one platform uh, two years ago. I think we've been doing this is going a year three 
year one, we just was recording and just putting it out on YouTube. Uh, the second year, we kind of went to this platform and just we just we just keep moving. Now we're about to put feet to the street where we're about to start doing some different things and all the communication for that. We just want to have it in one central location. That's going to be group meet, right? So um, all the information will be there. Um, if you are not familiar with group meet, you know, then you mm -hmm. can speak up. And if it's something that you want to get on, you know, um, myself, Mike, Myself, Mike, Kevin, hey, Kevin, yeah, are we're able to put you in, and I'll just grab Miguel and put Miguel in. Mm -hmm. They can in any any four people can get you into the group meet if you're not already in there, and it's and it's no pressure, right? If you don't want to get in there, you know, you just want to use the link on on Thursdays just to get in. That's fine, but we're gonna be mo doing more. Uh, I don't think James is on, but we're gonna be doing a lot of things over at uh, at Glen Lee. Um, you know, it, it's just going to be more information to come, more than we can mm -hmm. just say on here. We'll just, you know, all the communication will be 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 on there. So if yeah. I had any, those remarks, Mike, that would be it. Because I know a lot of the brothers wasn't on um, at right at seven. Yeah. So that's all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You're on it. Uh, I'm gonna, if you don't mind, I'm going to just uh, add to it a little bit. And the reason we're going to use group me, I think everybody on here has either a job, that uh, uh, puts all central central uh, has a a platform. I'm gonna use that 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 centralizes all communication. Or you would go to a church where they try to have a platform where they put out their announcement and they and their communication. All we want to do is have that same type of platform here where everybody can go and get the same message with no deviation, nothing missing. Uh, with the group me, it's gonna it's. it's I know people say I don't like some people say I don't like social media. I'm one of them. I don't do social media, Instagram and all that. But group me is not really like a. Uh, a social media per se. We're not going to share any information. It's it's controlled by. The uh, the three of us. So we let who we want in and we, we you know, we're not going to pass you information. We're not going to be talking stupid online or none of that stuff. Uh, it's going to be straight spiritual and uplifting and things that we're going to do we're also going to have it has the opportunity to put polls out because when we do things we're going to put a poll out to see how many people are going to participate because some things we do we're going to have to need have to confirm those numbers uh like we go to Glen lee for the to the school they're going to want to know how many men are coming so we need we're going to have a poll hey how many men are coming so we can give that to the the principal so he knows how many men gonna be on his uh on his campus so he can you know make the proper arrangement so it's just to flow in that excellent state uh and once again if you're not in the group me and you desire to be in the group we you know reach out to uh to peers kevin or myself uh if you don't have nobody's number uh put it in the chat that uh you'd like to join the group me but you don't have anybody's number and we'll definitely reach out to you you know i'm sorry put your your number out there or and we'll reach out to you so we can get you get you situated. All right. Before I move on, any questions from anybody about Group Me or the purpose of Group Me? All right. Thank you, gentlemen. I'm gonna run around the table. Uh, take a take a couple of minutes, couple of seconds. Uh, like we said, we just want to check on you, make sure you're good. Spiritually, mentally, emotionally, uh, we definitely want to make sure everybody's good because these are times right now where, you know, things can slip by and we don't want nobody to slip by. If you have opportunity to speak to a, a man, a group of men or a man, if you want to speak to a spe specific man, let it, let that be known. But we don't want y'all to fall to the wayside, man. We want to make sure everybody's good to ensure that your your family's all good because if you're not good, your family's not going to be good. So we just... Want to make sure everything around you is good. So I'm gonna go ahead and start, Mr. Carlos. You up on? You up first? Yes, sir. It has been a great week. It has been a great week. Uh, on on Tuesday, I went to play. On Tuesday, on Monday, I went to play soccer and I twisted my ankle. Uh, so I was not able to walk for for a day. But beside that, everything was perfect. You know, blessed by the best for sure. Uh, All right, thank, thank you, sir. Look at 
you put that word down to call put that word down tonight, Carlos. Boy, you you was on it like a peanut butter and jelly, man. <laughs> you don't got the lab <laughs> Hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's all good. Who's up next, brother Jeff? Are you able to uh, speak, sir? How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. All is well here. Great word tonight. Can you hear me? We got. We got. You. I see a sharp picture of you, brother. Yes, we got. <laughs> yes, sir. We got you, man. I couldn't find the mute button. I apologize. We got you, brother. We glad to see you, man. I see you had the baby with you. That's good. That's good. Taking care of family. That's that's a good. That's that was a good picture for me. <laughs> uh, let me see. What we got next. Oh, Kevin. Kevin, how you doing, sir? Glad glad to, glad you're online. How you doing, sir? Can you hear me, Kevin? Yeah, probably grand. Yeah, yeah. We'll come <laughs> back to Kevin. Mr. Lamont, how you doing, sir? I'm great, man. How you doing? Hey, man, how y'all doing? doing? We all doing good, man. Glad to hear your voice. Yeah, I'm, I'm great. I'm everything. He's on the up and up. Health-wise, I'm a little under the weather, but... I'm a strong young man, so you know I get on. Yes, sir. I'm good. Yes, sir. You said something powerful, and, and you you knew what you said. I'm a young man. I'm gonna get. I'm I'm gonna get through it. You basically yeah. saying I'm 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 gonna get through it instead of saying yeah, we get used to oh man I'm 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 struggling, but you said I am going to get through it, so you won't get through it. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. <laughs> Um, uh, Mr. Lord, you up next? Yeah, I'm here. Yes, sir. Yeah. How you doing? I'm doing well. I ain't got no complaints. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Brother Paris. You know yes, sir. Be informed. Thank you, guys. Um, you know, just want to say, you know, to all gentlemen, uh, just walk in your purpose. Um, it's gonna be hard. No one ever said it was easy. You know. Um, my brother Carlos had the numbers and it shows, you know, um, I can be proof of that, that, uh, you know, the negative things will outweigh the positive, but when the positive show up, it's going to show up for you. Yes, sir. So just stay strong, walk in your faith. And, you know, as us as men, we got to keep our heads up. I tell my sons every day, keep your head up, you know? Yes, sir. Yeah. So everyone stay strong. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And uh, that's what this call is about, encouraging, encouraging each other, each not other, just yes, for sir. us on the calls. But like you said, you tell your sons, keep their head up. It's, you have to be good for your family to be good as men. As men. Yes, sir. Yep. We got to be good and not saying we're not going to have bad days. But we can't let them bad days overflow to let's to the place where it start affecting our families. So we got to start checking on each other, encouraging each other, and speaking out if something's going on. We got to start speaking out and getting the help we need. Appreciate you, sir. Thank you. And uh want to wanna hear you on here on next Thursday and Thursdays and Thursday and Thursday after Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm in when I can get in. You know, uh, you know, got a lot going on, but you know, uh, I just try to, you know, you know, receive be, you know, reciprocal of the messages that you guys are dropping in on us. You yes, know, sir. I, yes, sir. I'm glad to be able to be a part of this tonight. Yes, sir. Glad, glad, glad you are a part. Thank you all. Yes, sir. Um, brother Sean, how you doing, sir? If you're able to speak and you are speaking, you're still on mute. I hope my nice that right, Sean. Are oh, you probably in a location where he can't speak? All 
right. We're going to move to you, uh, P. Brother P, how you doing, sir? I'm good, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything good my way, man. Glad y'all brother was able to, to, to jump on and to load everything that you said, man. Just give God the glory for that, brother. You know? Yes. Well, it's a work in progress, man. He just chose us to do this assignment. Which assignment is just proclaiming this word. So Praise just, God. Just same building, just different. Or same body, just different. Just different administrations, you know? We'd be, we'd be looking at you, work on them cars, man. You sit back and be like, man, I couldn't do that. Oh, man, it's easy, man. It's easy for you. <laughs> walking, in, walking in his purpose. That's it. I get over there. I tear some stuff up. <laughs> Couldn't tell you what I tore up. <laughs> yeah. Call never run again. That's it. I'm good to go, man. So I'm a, I'm a flip it since you flipped it to me. I'm gonna flip it to you. How are you, brother? Yeah, yeah. Everything copacetic, baby. Copacetic. I like that. Everything copacetic. That's your I word. Yeah, that. you. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Copacetic. But now nah, everything is great, man. Uh. Tonight was a powerful call, and I think a needed call. Uh, well, all the calls needed. This message tonight was the perfect message uh, for tonight. Uh, appreciate every gentleman that's on that second time, you know, because it is a sacrifice, and we appreciate that. Um, appreciate all the input. Uh, and I hope everybody understands the purpose of just checking on each other. It's not to invade your privacy or anything like that. It's we all hear about men that, you know, unfortunately commit suicide or just get so distant because they don't have a place to cry or, or, or a man or a group of men to talk to uh, and just express themselves. And the reason that's the main reason we just check on each man at the end of the call to ensure. And hopefully. Every man is just opening up and being honest because we don't want you to to mask it like we all know men can mask suffering and pain mm -hmm. very well that's not that's not the purpose of ch us checking on you the purpose of us checking on you is to take your mask off be honest uh nobody's here to judge nobody we're here to encourage each other and uh love each other and uh do what we can to keep each other going Oh, Brother Sean said he couldn't unmute. Okay, got, got you, sir. Yep. <laughs> Who is this? Yes, sir, we got you. Now go ahead. Hey, what's up? How you doing, sir? Man, cooling, cooling. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. Everything yeah, good? Cool. Yeah, everything straight, man. Everything good. <laughs> good, 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 good. Praise God, praise God. Well, yeah, we just checking on you, brother. I, I I ain't heard nobody say I'm just cooling in a long time. Uh, <laughs> staying out, staying out the way. Just yeah, I got to get back on that court too. <laughs> hey, my man, my man got out of the car and said, "Yep, <laughs> cooling, man, cooling." <laughs> oh my hey. goodness. <laughs> once he get his hand, once he got his hand off mute, man, he got excited. It's, old, it's over that. now. It's over <laughs> there. Coach all, coach all over again. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, hey, we love it. We love it, though, man. We love it. We love it. <laughs> we love it. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. All right. Well, praise God. Everybody's doing well, though. That's that's the end of the day. Praise God. Everyone's doing well. Continue to do well. Continue to prosper. Continue. Keep your nose to the grind, but most importantly, continue to keep God close and keep his word close. And uh, we're going to go ahead and send it back to Peter. Close us out in prayer. I think we only got one prayer request. Anybody else need prayer for any specific thing? Uh, Pastor texted me, so I got his. Okay. Yeah. And Kev no, Kev, uh, look like Kev dropped off. Let me check again. Okay. Yeah, Kev dropped off. Okay. And Miguel, he has a prayer request for his friend Steve. He's back in MVC again. Shut Miguel, you take us home. Would you say you want Miguel to pray? Is that? Let me see something real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay. uh, I'm gonna do something real quick, and then we got out of here. We got five minutes, bro. bro yeah, yeah, man. baby. We got five minutes. 
Is that okay? No, nah, that's uh, that look like Todd. Yeah, 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 that's Todd. How you doing, sir? Doing good. It's been a day. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glad you you just on time. Just just in time for us to check on you. How you how you and the family doing? Honestly, not doing too bad. My two year old's finally being a terrible twos and we'll be getting calls from the daycare and just trying to navigate that being still kind of a newborn parent with a two year old too. But overall, honestly, doing really good. Just yes, trying sir. to navigate life, see what God has in store for us. Praise God. That's the best. That's the best uh, conductor or best person to follow is God. So, yeah, yeah. Welcome to Terrible Twos, man. That's uh Oh, yeah. Two for is... two. I didn't think you told me that. It'd be that crazy, but it's getting there. <laughs> if they'd have told you, you wouldn't have had them. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you, sir. Oh, yeah. You as well. All right, fellas. Get on. We got. What is that? Uh, Mr. Steve, we got Mr. Steve that I got. I got pass him before passed up on my my trusty dusty watch, <clears throat> and I'm gonna look at Second mm -hmm. Timothy. I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna uh, read this passage and then um, pray, and then we out of here. We should we we got three minutes, so we should be good. Uh, Second Timothy three. This know also that in the day in the last days perilous times shall come. For men should men shall be lovers of their own self, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers. I'm about to mess this word up. Incontent, fierce, despising of those that are good, traitors. Headly, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with their sins, led away by diverse lusts, ever learning and never coming to the knowledge of the truth. Now as James and Jabrius Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds rough debate concerning, concerning the faith. But they shall prosper no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, and there also was. But thou hast for fully known my doctrine, manner of purpose, Faith, long suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came to me at Antioch, and I don't know that one. Uh, I'm gonna mess that up, and I'm gonna mess that one up. What persecutions I endure, but out of them the Lord delivered me. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ shall shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. And then from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. All scriptures is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine for reproof, for correction, for instructions in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. I just wanted to re, 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 reiterate that all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God. So they already been breathed on. We can go and look in this word at any time. It's already been breathed on and it's already profitable for doctrine, reproof, correction, and instruction. So anything, any point we find ourselves in in life, we can always go to the word. What does the word say? You talking about what the words say that'll lead and guide you into into all truth and the way you're supposed to go and 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 like we were talking about your purpose and all that all the all the good things that God has for us. JP, uh, just in case ahead. somebody missed it, can you can you say the verse again? Oh yeah, that's uh Second Timothy uh chapter three. 
Second Timothy, Second Timothy, chapter three. All of chapter three. Yeah, I read all of chapter three. I, okay, I, okay. I, I, I didn't have book. mine. I didn't have my book open, but I was just listening. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, I fumbled through verse eleven, so I, I messed some names up. I, I couldn't read them, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that Richmond <laughs> education right there, boy. Yes, hey, that's the right one, brother. <laughs> and right go. Heavenly Father, as we come before you, we thank you, Father. I thank you for just your goodness, your grace. We thank you for your mercy, Father. Father, as we come before you, Father, we come before you with our faith, Lord God. We come before you with our faith, Father. We come trusting and knowing, Father, that you are able to move, Father. Father, we ask you to move, Father, that you will get in the situation, Father, as we continue to lift up Brother Steve, Father. We pray, Father, that your hand, Father, and your hedge of protection will continue to be upon him, Father. We pray, Father, that you will show yourself mighty, Father, in this situation, Lord God. As men of God, we're coming to you, Father. We're putting our petitions before you, Lord God, and we'll say it to you as well, Father, in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. Father, as as we as we continue to, to lift up uh, uh, these petitions unto you, Father, we lift up uh, uh, Scott Wrench, Lord God. We lift him up. Um uh, we also lift up our pastor's wife, Lord God, as she's having some 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 different tests done, Lord God. We ask that mm, yes, it will be upon them, Lord God, and we ask that you will continue just to comfort them, Father. But we ask that you will give them wisdom, Father, that you will give them insight, that you will give yes, them knowledge, Father, how to move, how to operate, Father, with what needs to be taken away, what needs to be added, Father, by mm. your Holy Spirit, Father. We ask that you will move. Move like you, like only you can move, Father. And for the yes. man that when Father, the men that couldn't join while they were at work and different things going on, Father, we just pray for them, Lord God. We lift up, uh, 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 we lift those brothers up, Father. We lift the brothers that are uh, on the call up, Father. We lift up their families, Lord God, whatever they're setting their hands to do, Father. We pray that you would encourage them, Father, on their journey, Father. They put their hand mm -hmm. to the yes, Father, Lord. pray to strengthen them, Father. Give them wisdom, give them insight, Lord God. But most of all, begin to show us, Father, who's not for us, Lord God. And give us the strength to 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 make the move, Father, to, to to cut them, Father, so we may continue to go where it is that you will have us to go, Father, because ultimately, Father, we don't want to hold up our line, Lord God. Yes. We, Father, we magnify, we glorify, we give you the praise, we give you the honor and the glory, Father. Watch over us, Lord God, this evening, Father. Continue to strengthen us, Father. Yes. So we give you the glory, the praise, and the honor for it. In your mighty and matchless name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Love y'all, fellas. You. All right. Good night, gentlemen. All right. Love y'all. Out. <laughs>